Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I'm going to be tackling a viewer question about Nonix toenail fungus cleanser. Just give you my overall thoughts and at the end of the video, uh, some of the high and low points on it. So let's hop right into it. So first of all, the ingredients, and this is something you're going to find across the board for most of these over-the-counter toenail fungus things. Uh, so Nonix has deionized water. What that means is they've essentially taken the ions or a lot of the minerals out of it. Uh, the big thing is the ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is a fancy way of saying acetic acid, which is basically vinegar. And that's the, that's the main product in a lot of these things. What we're going to get into though is the concentration. I'll touch on that in a second. Then we have xanthan gum and some fragrance. This fragrance will become important later as well. So um, the one study that I thought was good, they took 102 adults, they compared Nonix versus a prescription drug um, that you can use for toenail fungus. And they gave them, and then at each of these intervals, they looked at how the nails were looking. Okay, and so day 30, Day 60, day 120, day 80, so six months out. And what they noticed, it actually compared really favorably. Um, Amorophine is the drug that they were comparing to. It did a really good job on a head-to-head -head, uh, basis. So they saw an increase in healthy nail service, uh, surface of 11.8% with Nonix versus 13.2% with the prescription medication. So um, pretty good results. Uh, didn't quite match the prescription drug, but again, this is something you can get over the counter uh, and maybe a little safer as well. Okay. Now, my overall thoughts, good and bad points with this after looking at things. I don't care which product you're looking at. This is not going to be a quick process. Toenail fungus is notoriously hard to treat, takes a long time, so it is not quick. Uh, you do need to be very consistent with applying it each day. Um, some people note, and this is why I talked about the fragrance, some people note that the odor kind of throws them off. They put that fragrance in to try to mask the odor from the acetic acid or the vinegar. So your mileage will kind of vary with how you feel about that if the odor bothers you, but for some people it does. What I do like about it, it was tested. It appears to be safe, really no side effects reported uh, that I could find, easy to apply. And the nice thing versus this study, Nonix is actually has a higher, stronger concentration of the acetic acid. So something to think about. Bottom line is, do I think it's worth a shot? Yes. Do I think it's safe? Yes. Um, does it appear to be effective? It does appear to be helpful. So I'll put a link to Nonix if you guys want to check it out in the description. Also remember to go to the description and get your free checklist of my personal natural health uh, therapies that I use personally. Uh, again, it's free checklist. Go there, grab that. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, if, if you've used Nonix, was it helpful? Those sorts of things. It's helpful for me and other people that watch the video. Okay. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.